Hello everyone and welcome. With this video today, I want to cover a definition in the Ontario Building Code which I feel is very important because it means something different in the Ontario Building Code than the typical language you and I use English in North America. And the topic is building height. So what I've decided to do is to compare the building height of two monuments in the world. They're outside of uh, Ontario on purpose. On one side, we have the Great Pyramid of Giza for Khufu, and on the other side, we have the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Now, you might be wondering, what's the deal with that? I mean, I kind of agree with you. If you were able to find this video, then a few more moments online would allow you to figure out that the Pyramid of Giza measures approximately 138.5 meters from the bottom to the top, whereas the Leaning Tower of Pisa measures almost 56 meters from the bottom to the highest point. Well, would you be surprised if I told you that the Ontario Building Code actually looks at the Leaning Tower of Pisa as having a building height that's almost four times the height of the pyramid? Follow along and I'll show you what I mean. But first, we have to go in the Ontario Building Code in the right spot to find the definition for building height. So where we want to go is in Volume 1, Division A, Article 1.4.1.2, where we can find the definitions, or as the Building Code calls them, defined terms. I'm also going to link for you right here a video that I, that I prepared about definitions in the Ontario Building Code and how to find them, how to identify them. Okay. But anyways, once we get there, the definition that's in the Ontario Building Code for building height is, and I'm going to read it, building height means the number of stories contained between the roof and the floor of the first story. And just so we're clear, story is another word that's used in North America to say the word floor. So first floor, second floor, third floor is also first story, second story, third story. So look at this. This definition does not look in any way at a measured height and instead it defines it as the number of stories. So how does that affect us? Well, let's count the number of stories with the Leaning Tower of Pisa first of all. That is, all the spaces in the tower that people have access to. Well, if we count them, we come up to eight stories between the floor of the first story and the roof. What about the pyramid? Well, to figure that out, I actually had to go to Wikipedia, which provides a handy cross-section of what the pyramid looks like inside. And it turns out that the Pyramid of Giza only has two stories. That is, two spaces, two levels for humans to actually access and congregate if they needed to. Okay? So look at this. What ends up happening is now that this is actually a more accurate representation of how the Ontario Building Code looks at these two buildings, where the Leaning Tower of Pisa is almost four times taller, actually is four times taller than the Pyramid of Giza. And that's because the Leaning Tower of Pisa has eight stories that are accessible by people, whereas the pyramid has two stories. So you might be wondering then at this point, why? Why does the Ontario Building Code look at this way to define building height? Well, as you can tell right now then, by what's showing on your screen, it's because of people, that is you and me, the occupants of any building. You see, more stories in a building refers to more people to be accounted for on each of those stories. It also implies then that we need to make sure that those people get out safely. So more considerations for exit doors, exit stairs, exit corridors, exit signs, and a whole bunch of other stuff to make sure that we get people out of there safely. In addition, we also want to make sure that we have considerations for getting people inside there safely to reach people who cannot get out by themselves. So that's why the Ontario Building Code looks at number of stories 
and not the actual measurement. So then let's summarize this. How does the Ontario Building Code look at building height? It does not look at the vertical height, it looks at the number of stories. And the reason for it is to account for the occupants, the people that are using that space. I hope that made sense. And I hope that makes sense as to then why the Ontario Building Code then looks at the Leaning Tower of Pisa as being four times higher than the Pyramid of Giza. That's it. Thank you so much for your time. I want to thank you also for being here and watching this video. Take care, stay well, and have a lovely day.